on behalf of the conference, uh, I'd like to welcome everybody to our 2015-16 Big East Men's Basketball Media Day. Two, three, four, been a blessing, uh, very exciting. Um, just the process alone, uh, being able to, to have that decision to be able to go to the NBA or to come back. And uh, just making that process and dealing with the decision with my family and my, my coaching staff and sharing it with my teammates and friends has been all great. So I mean, really I'm just blessed with the opportunity. I knew I had to uh, finish with my degree. I always told my family I wanted to get my degree just to be a good role model for my two little sisters who's about to go to high school soon. And uh, really, I just want to develop my game. Um, last year was really my first year on the court, yep. so I needed more experience, uh, learn the game more, and I knew I need some things I need to develop and improve. What this is right now is such a, a great basketball conference for a hoops junkie. It's pure basketball, 365 days a year. Everything the conference does is about basketball. Uh, I, I'm thrilled with where it is. You know, As a basketball guy, I love that we're talking basketball all the time. And, and we're playing in basketball venues and in, in basketball campuses. It's, it's really unique. I, I really couldn't have anticipated it being as good as it is. St. John's be as great as they were back in your day? That's why I came back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like the answer. There, there, there's, there's part of me in my heart and in my mind that think that that can definitely happen. Um, the thing is going to take a little time. There you go. So how's it been so far? Uh, as you mentioned, very exciting for a lot of people, but no more than me. Uh, um, extremely elated to be back to a place where you know, I call it unfinished business. I left uh, at a time where, where uh, we were on a little bit of an upswing, and, and now you know, my chores is similar to when I was there the first time to get this team back to where it belongs, where our fans can appreciate you know, winning, and, and the city of Chicago, state of Illinois, can appreciate winning. And so, uh, I'm very, very excited to, to come back to Chicago and take over, take over this program. I think our program is light years ahead uh, today of where it was when I took over. Very excited about the guys who are coming back and obviously really excited about the new faces in our program. We have a chance to be a very good team. Uh, this, we have to be process driven though. We have to get better each day because we're not a group yet that has habits or knows what it takes to win because the guys in a program uh, haven't won yet and right. so we have to build those habits on a daily basis and hopefully the byproduct of that will be a lot of wins. Well I'm getting a shoulder massage here for my man <laughs> Will D. Cat. The, the Wildcats here today and all these mascots are here so we are over at the social yep. media center so we will be active throughout the day. So first one we know you're a pretty good basketball player but what's a hidden talent you have that the fans may not know about? Uh, let's see I'm pretty good at uh, Halo. Pretty good Halo player. Halo, okay. Yeah, we had a few video game players today. What what makes you so good at it? Uh, I've just been playing video games my whole life. My my older brother, he's uh, he's a video game phenom. I mean, he's I mean he's into World of Warcraft, all that stuff. Uh, okay, I think we may. I think we may need to like set up a, a Halo tournament at the Big East tournament this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely come out victorious. What is your go-to dance move? Has to be the whip and nay nay. Everybody's doing it now, but you yeah. You gotta show us. Come on. You have to. You have to. You gotta do it. A little. Do a little. Like show us a little something. There we go. All right. There we go. We got it. First one. Scary movies. Down. Both thumbs down, not fans. No. Why is that? I have nightmares. What about you? I just don't like them. No. I'm <laughs> with you guys on that one. All right, let's move on. Country music. <laughs> Roosevelt Jones doesn't like anything <laughs> this morning. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, country music made my ears bleed, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're up. <laughs> uh, it, when we were rooming together, I, I couldn't play. I couldn't play country too loud, or he would have told me to turn it off. So, I, I'm a big Zach Brown fan. Oh, I like "Keep Me in Mind" by Zach Brown Band. I like, oh, yeah. I like some of this. Uh, Loving You Easy. Maybe. There it is. Yeah. Chicken Fried. A little, yeah, a little. Roosevelt, more. what do you like by Zach Brown Band? Oh, I don't like anything by Zach <laughs> Brown. I don't even know who Zach Brown is. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I suggest that on the flight home you listen to some country music. I would not do that at all. At all. <laughs> I hear you.
you have an impersonation of me? Could you just try it one time or at least sign off or do something? I, I hear that you know how to impersonate me. Go ahead and see. All right, uh, let me try. Hey, I'm Johnny Fanta. We're signing off. <laughs> there he is, Isaiah Whitehead. Thank you, Z. Thank you.